God bless you. God bless you. And welcome to the Wednesday night edition of Rebirth Live. We are blessed and we are excited that you guys are with us on tonight. Listen, I'm Pastor Justin S. Lucas, and I'm blessed to be before you on tonight, giving God the praise on this Wednesday night edition of our Rebirth Live. Look, it's time for Bible study. Come on in the room, as they say. It's time for Bible study. We want you in here on tonight so that we can discuss the word of God because God is still moving, amen, in light of everything that's happening all around us. God is still moving. God is still healing. I heard the old song say he's healing the same today. He is healing the same today. Amen. He's doing miracles the same today. And on tonight, we're here in Bible study to teach you guys. Amen. On tonight, a very, very revelant word for right now. Amen. About what God is doing and what he's about to do. And we just thank God for where we are in the year. Hallelujah. If you're just now joining us, I want you to just start typing already. Let's get the likes going, the hearts. Amen. Because I want you guys to just be blessed in this broadcast on tonight did you not know that we are in the dead middle of the year amen come on i want you to just start typing i made it i made it i know you said preacher well, wait a minute this ain't no holiday this uh, uh uh ain't no special occasion amen i didn't get today off work but i want you to type right now i made it to the middle of the year tonight we're going to be talking about what god is doing in this pivotal hour in our nation and in the world, amen, uh, in the middle of 2020. We're halfway there, hallelujah. So I want you to be blessed on tonight. Listen, we ask that you like and share this broadcast. You heard Elder Scales come on Sunday, amen, and pick with you guys just a little bit uh, about liking and sharing this video. Let somebody see it, amen, so that they can be encouraged uh, uh, for service and encouraged with this word on tonight. Because we're going to come with this word. We're going to come correct. We're going to come strong with it. I heard somebody say we won't be long, but we're going to be strong. Amen. So on tonight, we want you to like and share this broadcast. If this broadcast is a blessing to you, hallelujah, even consider why we're singing and praising God, uh, being a partner with us and blessing us in your giving and donation. Listen, today is the first day off of our fast. I had my numbers wrong. Amen. So I've been, I, Rebirth, I didn't give in last week. Hallelujah on Sunday. But I did Monday and Tuesday as well. But today is the first. And my God, listen, I, I had my cookies. I, I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to go off the deep end. Hallelujah. But uh, I am enjoying some sugar back in my system. Amen. Thank you, Rebirth, for, for doing all of your part and partnering and, and being with us on the fast. I hope you were on your fast. Bless God. Amen. But today is the first. Amen. And we got a word for you guys on tonight. So while you like and share this broadcast, amen, we're going to sing a song. We're going to have a good time on tonight because God is a good God. Come on. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And he is so worthy to be praised. Now, listen, I know that you're sitting there and you're at home and you say, well, pastor, I ain't been able to get to the church. When are we coming back to the church? Amen. We're going to see you with things in a month or so, but we're going to keep on doing all that we can do. But right there in your living room, I want you to say, this is my sanctuary. Come on. I want you to say, this is my sanctuary. Did you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? It is the temple of the living God. Amen. I want you to say, Lord, prepare me. Come on, lift your hands. Say, Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. Come on, while you're sharing, I want you to jam with me a little bit. You can put them hands together. You can put them together tonight. Come on. Yeah. Give me some, Elder Scales. Thank you. Yeah. Come on, y'all help me sing this tonight. Come on. Yeah, it says like this. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. Come on. Pure and holy, tried and true, and with thanksgiving. Come on. I'll be a living sanctuary oh, for you come on and help me say to be a sanctuary yeah come on pure and holy tried and true and with thanksgiving oh i'll be yeah sanctuary Sanctuary, yeah. 
pure and holy, tried and true, and with thanksgiving, ooh, I'll be, yeah. come on, sanctuary. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, yeah. Come on and say it. Pure and holy. Come on, say tried and true. And with thanksgiving, ooh, I'll be, yeah, yeah. Sanctuary for you. Come on, tell the Lord, yes. Yes. Yes to you will, Lord. Yes to you way, Lord. Oh, I'll say yes. Come on. And tell the Lord yes. Yes. Whatever you want from me, Lord. Yes, 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 Lord. Hey, tell the Lord yes. Hey. To be a sanctuary, yes. Come on and say it. Pure and holy, try and with thanksgiving, ooh, I'll be, yeah, sanctuary for you. Now I want you to stand up right there in your house, and I want you to jam with me tonight. I want you to say, Lord, I want to be a sanctuary for you. Whatever you want to do with me, that's what I want you to do. Come on and say, moan me, what you want me to be, yeah. Oh, moan me, what you want me to be, yeah. Come on, say, moan me, how you want me to be, yeah. Oh, moan me, yeah, how you want me to be, yeah. I'm obeying. Yes to your way, Lord. Lord, mold me, yeah, yeah. What you want me to be, Lord? Hey. Mold me, yeah. What you want me to do, yeah. Where you want me to go? Come on and say it. Where you want me to go? Where you want me to go? What you want me to do? Yes, yes to your will, Lord. Let's say yes. Come on and tell him. Yes to your will, Lord. Say yes to your will, Lord. I'll say yes, Lord. I said I'll say yes, Lord. I said I'll say yes, Lord. Lord, prepare me, yeah, yeah. Say, come on. Pure and holy, tried and true, and with thanksgiving, oh, I want to be a living sanctuary for you. Come on, tell her tonight, I want to be a living sanctuary. I want you to live down on the inside of me, God. Hallelujah. I want you to dwell down on the inside of me. Saints, let me tell you something. When you got God on the inside, oh, what a difference it makes. When you got the Spirit of God dwelling down on the inside of you, come on, can you just lift your hands even right now and say, Lord, I want you to dwell in me. Lord, create in me a clean heart. Renew a right spirit in me. I want you down on the inside. Hallelujah. My grandmother used to say, a song bless her soul amen she said take jesus with you everywhere i'm gonna say it as many times as i need to say it take jesus with you everywhere you go let him lead you let him guide you protect and direct you he'll keep you come on saints from doing things wrong i want you to type that on there tonight say he'll keep you from doing things wrong amen we thank god for you guys being with us on tonight if you're here hallelujah come on don't just be 
a covert op. Don't be a spy. But let me know that you're in the room tonight. Give a amen, a hand clap. Do something. Amen. But if you can, we would ask that you like and share this video. Amen. So that we can get this out to people on tonight. Tonight is July the 1st. Can you believe we made it this far? With all that's going on in the world, we have made it this far. It is July the 1st, and we count it all joy. We count it all joy. We thank God on tonight for being able to make it here. Hallelujah. On yesterday, we came off of our fast, and hallelujah, it was 30 days. It was tough. I kid you not. I pray that you guys, amen, uh, 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 were, were faithful in your fast, but it was 30 days of fasting from things that uh, we, we didn't want to do anymore fasting from things uh, may have been social media or things and continuing to do amen something for the lord a devotion a prayer hallelujah so we're just coming off of our fast but we pray that it's been a blessing to you guys all month long amen and that you have also not only did your fasting but that you have done your giving this month we thank god for you guys doing your financial part and your tithing offering, but as well as doing your sacrificial offering, whatever your seed offering was, we just want to say thank you. We've got things uh, that we're doing here at the church, amen, as well as in the community, amen, and we want you guys to continue to be a blessing so that we can continue to be a blessing to others. I want to say this, everything we do is not on Facebook, amen. Everything that we do is not told, hallelujah, but we believe in blessing those, amen, in private and doing things in the community. So whatever it is that you've given, know that it's going into good ground. I want to say a big special thank you to our partners, whether you're a member or not, that have also taken this opportunity to sow into this ministry. Sowing in in seed, in tithe, in offering. We say thank you and we give God praise to you guys. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to go to the word of God in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for this word on tonight. Lord, this teaching that you're going to give me, I bless you, Lord, for everything and every word that you're going to speak through me. Lord, now let your people receive this teaching, receive this word. Lord, let it change and shift them in their lives. In Jesus' name, we say thank you. Amen. Amen. You know, the scales, I don't normally ask you, can't you grab me that towel there? I'm a little, 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 little sweating tonight. Amen. But I thank God, amen, for you guys on tonight. Today is July the 1st. July the 1st, amen, and, and we, we're in this point, thank you, we are at this point in the year, amen, we have been through some things this year, come on saints, we have been through some things this year, uh, if you don't know, hallelujah, I had to marry somebody uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago, and as I was talking to them in the, in the script of the, of the ceremony, I was just naming some of the things that we've been through, Lord, Lord, uh, 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 the Harry and Megan that left the royal family, uh, 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 murder hornets, uh, sickness and disease in the land. Now a sandstorm is coming, uh, fighting over, over Chick-fil-A sandwich. Y'all, we didn't been through some things this year. Amen. And I, I just can't remember uh, uh, all of the things that we've experienced that have been uh, uh, trying and uh, adverse in our time. But today is July the 1st. Come on, come on, come on. It is day, they say, 182 and a half. Huh? 182 and 82 of 365 days in the year of 2020. Uh, can I say this and just slow down for a minute? Our son's Jeremiah, our son's uh, birthday, Jeremiah Lucas's birthday is on today. And guess what? This is the exact middle of the year and he is our middle child. Isn't that amazing that his birthday falls on the exact middle of the year and he is the middle child. My God, I I want to pause real quick and I want everybody if you're on here come on type happy birthday Jeremiah hallelujah he's right there at the house watching it I hope he's paying attention Jeremiah hope you're paying attention but as you type happy birthday Jeremiah it pops up on our TV screen come on let's wish him some birthday wishes and love on tonight we want to say happy birthday to Jeremiah we just had uh, Joshua's birthday uh, on Juneteenth on June 19th Jer uh, Jeremiah's birthday is the first which is today and and Josiah's birthday will be the 23rd of September. So we give God praise for our boys. But happy birthday, Jeremiah. Amen. Listen, through everything that we have been through and have had to endure this year, I want to encourage you tonight. And this is what you retype after you tell Jeremiah happy birthday. This is what you type next. I want you to say, I'm halfway there. 
My God. Come on, I want you to say, I'm halfway there. I am halfway there. Today is July 1st, and it signals the first, amen, in the middle of the year. It's the first day of the month, but we are exactly in the middle of 2020. Amen. Now, we've had some trying times this year, as I said before. Amen. And we haven't, as if we all haven't been through enough, each one of us on here tonight, guess what? Have got our own issues. Come on, let's keep it real. Let's be honest. We've got our own issues. We've got our own problems. And each one of us have got our own dramas. We all got our own situations that we are dealing with and on top of everything else from the government. On top of everything else that's going on in the land. We've all got our personal issues that are not on CNN. Come on, saints. We've got our personal issues that may or may not be on Facebook or on Instagram. We've got things that we're dealing with and that we've all been going through that are personal issues. Can I encourage you tonight? Guess what? You are right in the middle of it. On today, mm, my God, the 1st of July, amen, is in the middle of the year. And I want to encourage you tonight, no matter what you have had to endure, no matter what you have had to go through, that you are right in the middle of it. Come on, somebody type, I'm in the middle of it. Uh, I heard, uh, what's his name? What's the guy's name? Isaac Curry. He said, I'm in the middle of it. I pray that you, even if you're in the middle of a bad situation, uh, that tonight you're going to find God in the middle of it. Come on, saints. Tonight, you're going to find God in the middle of it. You are in the middle of your struggle. You might be in the middle of your pain. You might be in the middle of your hardship, but on tonight, you're going to push through it. On today, I pray that the first day of July has been a pivotal day that you said, I refuse to turn around. Lord, I don't believe, hallelujah, that you brought me this far to leave me, but you brought me 182 days. Out of 365, because you intend on carrying me somewhere. You are not through with me yet. I'm in the middle of what it is that I've got going on. Come on, somebody type. I'm right in the middle of it. I'm right in the middle of it. Let me share with you something. This is the moment. Come on. Tonight, you, you may not even realize it. It may just have been another day in your life. But tonight is the moment. Today is the day where you turn it around for the better. Amen. Or you're going to turn it around for the worse. Come on. I'm going to say that again. Today is the day where you're going to turn it around for the better. Or you're going to turn it around for the worse. My son, it never fails when we're traveling, when we're going on vacation, going anywhere. If he's not playing his switch, amen, if he's not uh, occupied, he will sit his head up out of the back of the van and say, Daddy, are we there yet? Come on. <laughs> uh, uh, how much further do we have to go? That, and he knows this bothers me. Yeah. I'm talking about the one whose birthday is today. Jeremiah, it's you. Amen. He knows this bothers me. I, I, I didn't come up with every kind of answer. I said, Jeremiah, you got somewhere to be? No, Daddy. And then he asked me again, are we almost there yet? Jeremiah, just ride. Yeah. Uh, are we all, are we there yet, daddy? No, we ain't got there yet. Just enjoy the mountains. Look around. Enjoy. Amen. This trip. Don't let it pass you by. But I know you're in your spirit asking the same thing. Uh, preacher, are we there yet? Uh, 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 is God, has God delivered yet? Has God opened the door yet? Can I just say that we're right in the middle of it? Let me say that. I said, can I just say that we are right in the middle of it? And I'm going to use today. You ever thought about it? I, I preach the message speaking about a hinge amen and that in the middle of the hinge is where it can go either way come on in the middle of the hinge, I believing by faith that the rest of this year somebody say well pastor you said that 2020 the vision was going to be perfected guess what you do not believe you would not understand just how much that has come true hallelujah that God has done something in our ministry that he's blessing in our lives amen and he's working it out in our favor. He's been working it out in our favor. But this is the moment. This is the time where you can go for the better or it can go for the worse. Let me read something to you. You may not have known this, but you can look it up for yourself. In the middle of the Bible, uh, literally geographically in the middle of the Bible is Psalms 118. 
Psalms 118. But if you read Psalms 118 and verse 8, it is known as the middle verse in the Bible. Psalms 118 and 8 is known as the middle verse in the Bible. There are evenly the same amount of scriptures this way and the same amount of passages this way. Psalms 118 geographically in a sense is the middle of the Bible. But Psalms 118 and 8, it says this. What, what should we be wondering right now? What should we be thinking right now? Right now, amen, in the middle of the year, it is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. Right here, July 1st, in the middle of the year, on this Wednesday night edition of Rebirth Live at Bible Study, that's the scripture for the middle of the Bible. That's the scripture for the middle of the year. I know you're trusting in the CDC. I know you're trusting in your job. You may be trusting in the government, in man, in riches, in your supplies, but the Bible says in Psalm. Psalms 118 and 8, it is better to take refuge, hallelujah, in the Lord than to trust in man. Don't you put all your trust in man. It's all right to have trusting, uh, to trust somebody. It's all right to trust the preacher and to trust those, your neighbors, amen. But you got to make sure that in trusting all of them, that you have got your trust in God, hallelujah. It's better to take refuge in the Lord, hallelujah. How many of you know God to be a refuge on tonight? For God to be a safe place yeah it's better to take refuge in the lord than to trust in man this is the central verse in the bible and reminds believers to ask this question are you centered in the trust of god nah -huh. are you in the middle of trusting in god uh, i read and it says it's a particular verse that reminds christians uh, to trust in god over trusting in themselves or other people this is an hour this is a time where we got to trust in God, saints. Oh, you got to trust in God. You know, I was a kid coming up uh, 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 in church, and I always heard the old people sing at the service, I will trust. They say, shake hands. In the Lord. They shake your hand. I will trust. Yeah, come on, old saints. Old saints, yeah. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They should sing song and just shake your elbow off until I die. That's not shaking your hand. I would, Wait a minute. Hold up. Amen. But we got to learn how to trust in the Lord. We got to learn how to take him at his word. We got to trust. Somebody just shout right now. Uh-huh. I'm going to trust in the Lord. In the middle of it, I'm going to trust. Hey, in the Lord. Uh, while we're in the middle of it, uh, while we're at the halfway point, mm, I want to share this with you. Uh, that all you need is the other half. Uh, <laughs> we're at the halfway point of the year. Uh, aren't you just tired of having one half of it? Come on, saints. Uh, aren't you tired of just having one half of it? Uh, what you mean, preacher? Look, you got the peanut butter, but you ain't got the jelly. Come on, saints. Uh, you, you got the cornflakes, but you ain't got no milk. Yeah, yeah. You got the Kool-Aid, but you ain't got no sugar. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You got the macaroni, but you ain't got no cheese. Come on. <laughs> I got a good one for you. You got the ham, but ain't got no burger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aren't you just tired of having half of what it is that you need from God? Aren't you tired of only having a portion of what it is? But I'm the believer in tonight that tonight is the moment. Yeah, that today is the day that God is going to give us the other half. Come on, saints. I need you to type that on there tonight. Come on, say, Lord, give us the other half. Come on, come on. I promise you I'm going somewhere. Just stick with me. Don't leave out the room. Hallelujah. Say, God is going to give me the other half. Because uh -huh. I read in the Bible, and I'm encouraged tonight, uh, that in Philippians 4 and 19, that the Bible says that my God, come on. Uh, it said that my God, I feel that thing. I'm going to stay right there. It said that my God, you can call your God whatever you want. You can say whatever he is to you, but I'm going to tell you tonight that my God, as it reads in the 19th verse of the fourth chapter of Philippians, that my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. What does that mean? God said, I've blessed you with one half. You've worked hard for one half, but I can supply the other half. I can supply what it is that you don't have. I can supply what it is that you need that you don't got. 
I don't know about you tonight, but we've come this far by faith, leaning on the Lord, and we need God to bless us with the other half. Somebody type but don't tell or just declare it in your house on the second half of this year that God's going to bless me with the other half. Come on, say it in your house. On the second half of this year, God is going to supply me with the other half. Hallelujah. I got this portion, but I don't have the rest. It's like having a toy on Christmas morning. I want you to know that guess what? You got the toy. You can play with it. You get it out the package. But what you going to do if it ain't got no batteries? What am I telling you? That God is getting ready to supply them batteries for the toy that you've been blessed with. God is getting ready to supply everything that we we need for us to be able to minister in this time and I'm telling you that the other half it's on the way come on come on somebody say the other half is on the way the other half is on the way now uh -huh. I want to share this with you as you're typing that right there listen the, the, the Bible says that we have not because we ask not uh -huh. uh, uh, can I say it like this we have not yeah, because we ask not yeah. whatever it is uh, that you haven't had in the first of this year listen to this I want you to begin to ask God for it in the second half Ah, whatever it is that you have not hey, in this half of the year I want you to begin to pray and to seek God for it greater than ever in the second half uh, I want you to strive for it in the second half I'm not just talking about money I'm not just talking about cars and jewelry I'm not just talking about a house but I want you to say Lord my prayer life suffered in the first half come on saints uh, guess what I need more of a relationship with you God in the second half come on ah my god i want you to live for it in the second half of the year i want you to say god i experienced some rough times in the first half but i'm gonna strive to live a life that's pleasing to you in the second half i want you to praise god for it i want you to worship god for it in the second half you said god i didn't took some time off i've been at the house sometimes i didn't even watch the live amen i I was at the house uh, watching a movie. Uh, I was at the house. I slept in that Sunday morning. Guess what? I want you to praise God for it and worship him greater in the second half. As a matter of fact, I want somebody to type this on the screen. Welcome to the second half. I know how to preach about four messages in one. Come on, I want you to type this on the screen. Welcome to the second half. Look, if you don't type it for me, I want you to type it for somebody else that might be in this room. Amen. On this party today or watching this live, I want you to encourage them and say, Welcome to the second half. You made it. Come on, come on. You made it to the second half. Somebody who's watching this morning was going to give up. Yeah. Somebody who's watching this evening was going to throw in the towel. Uh -huh. Somebody who's watching tonight uh, was going to uh, uh, take yourself out months ago. But I want to just congratulate you. You made it to the second half of the year. The devil thought he had you. But thanks be unto God, you made it Yeah, to the second half. Hallelujah. Now, anybody in here that's a semi-sports fan, come on, just any kind of sports fan, listen, will always tell you that the second half, check this out it's always more interesting most of the time unless it was the Super Bowl last year whack amen uh, the second half is always more interesting than the first half of any game okay I, I said sports fans but I did not say athletes y'all come on in here uh, sports fans will say that the second half is way better than the first half uh-huh uh, listen to this but athletes will tell you come on come on those of us that played the game come on athletes will tell you that the second half hallelujah is when you have to fight Ah, Elder Scales, can I get an amen on this? Hey, hey. Now, he said, he said, whether you are a winner or whether you are a sore loser. Listen, the, uh, an athlete will tell you that the second half is when you always have to fight. Now, you're saying, Pastor, if you was winning, why you got to fight? Listen to this. You have to fight if you're losing to get in the lead. Uh-huh. Uh, but if you are a winner in the first half, uh, you have to fight to keep the lead. Y'all come on in here. You have to fight to get in the lead, but if you're 
are already winning, you have to fight to keep the lead. Uh, I'm preaching tonight. I, I don't know what position you feel like you're in, but if you feel like you've lost the first half of the year, it's time for you to strap your boots up. Come on. If you feel like you are behind at this point in the halfway point of the year, it's time for you to start praying harder. It's time for you to start fast and harder. Amen. It's time for you to start believing even greater because this is the hour. This is the pivotal moment where you can say, God, I believe that you're going to help me. I believe you're going to give me the strength that I can come out of this low place, that I can get out of this valley place and come out better in the second half. Oh, but if you are in a victorious position already, if you are in a winning position already and you say, God, you've been so good to me. God, God, you blessed me in the beginning of this year. Lord, even in the midst of a pandemic, you blessed me. Hallelujah. If that's your testimony, you ought to still have them hands up. Come on. If that's what you are saying, to God be the glory, but you ought to still have your hands lifted uh, and your mouth raised saying, God, you blessed me this far, uh, but I need you to carry me even further because the devil is mad. The devil is upset. The devil is frustrated that I've been blessed. The devil is angry that I've been blessed. The devil is mad that I've been blessed and he's going to try to come for me. Guess what? But I'm believing God to be a keeper. I'm believing God to be a sustainer and for God to be an elevator. Yeah. He said he'd be a lifter of my head. If God be for me, Huh? then who could be against me if God be for me huh? he's more than the whole world hey, against me I want somebody to type this huh? I gotta fight to keep the lead huh? I gotta fight to keep the lead I gotta fight to keep the lead huh? we're at the halfway point huh? but I'm at the end of my message huh? uh, we gotta fight to keep the lead huh? can I share with you where I've been trying to get you to see and what I've been trying to get you to understand I've been sharing this with you tonight at the halfway point of the year because I want you to know that the word of God said something uh, that your ladder hey, uh, shall be greater my God, your ladder shall be greater. Now, ladder is spelled L-A-T-T-E-R. L-A-T-T-E-R. I like to believe that we in the English language uh, could not wait and ladder was too long. So we took one of the T's out and changed it to later. <laughs> ladder uh, and later seem to be the same thing. <laughs> but we took one of the T's out and said not ladder, but later. Uh, we wanted it ladder to be sooner. Look, But the Bible says that your ladder shall be greater. Let me explain. What is it saying? It's saying that your ending shall be better than your beginning. Come on, saints. It says that the second portion shall be greater than the first portion. Anybody ever washed your hair? And I'm talking about when you just sweat it all week. Come on. And you get in the shower, you go to the beauty shop uh, and bless the little, the little wash lady's hair, her uh, hands. Uh, she got to wash your hair. She's trying to wash it. And she put the soap on there and she ain't getting no, no kind of soap. No kind of suds. Hey, I, I preached the message on this one time but she has to go back and wash it a second time come on she may have to go back and wash it a third time y'all come on in here ladies hey uh fellas you ever washed your hair in the shower hey man and uh you got to get it uh, elder scale said you got to get it clean like that hey man uh but you ever wash your hair and the first time you didn't get many suds <laughs> but the second time or the third time you washed it uh, the lather got greater I'm going somewhere. I want you to know tonight that your ladder shall be greater the second half of this year. I am declaring it. It may get rough out here. It may get tougher, but I speak over your life right now that the people of God shall be blessed, that the people of God will. I want you to type it tonight. I will be blessed. I shall be blessed. I will be the head and not the tail. I will be the above and not the beneath. I will be the lender and not the bar. Look, I said lender, not give. Oh my God, wait a minute. I was I lent you that money. I didn't give you that money. Come on. Hey Amen. I, I will be the lender and not the borrower. Hallelujah. Somebody just say the latter shall be greater. In Haggai chapter number 2 verses number 8 through 10. Uh, how do I know that the Bible said the latter shall be greater? I told you earlier that you need to seek God greater than ever in the second half of the year for whatever it is that you need. I ain't talking about riches. I ain't talking about fame. But you need to seek God for the anointing in your life. 
You need to seek God for the presence of God in your life because what you need, God's got it. Hey, verse number eight says that the silver is mine. If you need silver, God's got it. He said that the gold is mine. If you need to upgrade and get gold, God's got it, says the Lord of hosts. Verse number nine says that the glory of this latter temple uh -huh, shall be greater than the former. What am I telling you? The glory of the latter year uh, in this house known as rebirth shall be greater than the former. The glory of the temple of God in your house, in your sanctuary, as we sang about earlier, it shall be greater than the former. The beginning of the year, God blessed us. He sustained us. But now God is about to lift us. And in this place, I will give peace, save the Lord of hosts. Listen to this tonight. I don't know about you. Somebody might say, I don't need no money. I'm good. I don't need an upgrade. I'm good. Hallelujah. I don't need another car. I'm good. Pastor, all I need is peace. Well, God just told you. He said, I'm going to give you peace in this place, a peace that passive all understanding, and it's going to be better than what it was. It's going to be greater than what it was. I want somebody to just type tonight, your ladder shall be greater. Your ladder shall be greater. I heard somebody say on the second time around, <laughs> on the second time around, I want you to know tonight that God said he's going to bless us. He's going to bring us through this. He's going to bring us out and that the ladder Ah, it shall be greater. Come on. I want you to know that when he says shall, guess what that means? It's got to happen. Come on, saints. When God says shall, that means it's got to come forth. When God says shall, that means that it has to happen. It has to come to pass. I want somebody to know tonight that the latter shall be greater. Listen, I don't know if you're in here tonight and you say pastor, you say preacher, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. That's what God wants us to do in the midst of all of this is learn how to trust him, is learn how to trust him, is learn how to trust him. I'm going to go back to that scripture before I get out of here. I said in the middle of the Bible, the center verse in the middle of the Bible, guess what it says? Hallelujah. It's better to take refuge. It's better to trust in the Lord, to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. Why am I telling you that? Tonight, you may not believe me. Tonight, you may not uh, be feeling the preacher. But guess what? Don't take my word for it. That's what they said on Reading Rainbow. Don't take my word for it. But here's a book you can read for yourself. But you don't have to take my word for it. Don't take my word for it. Trust in the Lord. And lean not. I hear this. Lean not to thine own understanding. Ah, But trust in the Lord. Acknowledge him. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. And he shall direct thy path. Oh, tonight, I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you that you believe God. I want to pray with you that in the middle of what we're going through, that you trust in the Lord. We are in the direct geographical middle of the year and the scripture in the direct geographical medical middle of the Bible is it's better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. In the name of Jesus, so tonight, for somebody that's finding it hard to trust you, for somebody that's finding it hard to believe in you, God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you show them yourself mightily, that you show them yourself strong, that you let them know that you are God that will never leave them nor forsake them. Ah! But you said in your word that you would be with them until the end. Lord, we're not at the end of it, but we're right in the middle of it. Lord, 2020 has brought some surprises and 2020 has brought some rough situations. But in the name of Jesus, whomever is watching, whomever has been touched by this on tonight, God, I pray that you assure them that you are with them in the middle of it. I pray that you assure them that you are right here with them in the middle of it. We give God praise in Jesus' mighty name. Touch, heal, bless, and deliver. We say it in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, I pray that you have been blessed in the middle of what you're going through. I pray that you have been blessed by this message on tonight, that it has touched you right here, July 1st, 2020. Amen, that you will never forget the middle of the year because God is holding me down in the middle. God is gonna take me even higher in the middle. Hallelujah, things may get rougher in the world, but in the spirit, we will prosper. In the spirit, we will prosper. Those that are holding on to God, 
those that are staying faithful unto God. God's going to raise us up, saints. He's going to raise us up. We're not going to go down, but we're only going to get better. God bless you. We love you, and we encourage you in the middle of it. God bless you. In Jesus' name.